But the point I want to just kind of keep coming back to and, and stay focused on, and then I'll kind of open it up to you and here, is that we have a sacred power inside ourselves to help ourselves actually uh, heal a little, grow a little, awaken a little every day in lasting ways through how we engage the experiences we're having at the time. And that way of being involves and being an active agent in our own transformation, learning, broadly stated. You know, there's a, I've been in the mental health field uh, almost 50 years, actually. I started as an unlicensed whippersnapper at UCLA in the kind of peak of the human potential movement where you could get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, then eventually I got licensed as a psychologist, and I'm, that, that's been the case, gosh, now I'm 30 plus years, and along the way, teaching a lot of workshops, teaching a lot of meditation, just a wide range of things. And I've just observed a lot as well, psychotherapy, coaching, human potential training, mindfulness training, human resources training. Most of that has operated on the basis of what one could call a growth 1.0 model in which participants are treated as more or less passive vessels into which experiences or information are poured with the hope that some of it will stick. Some of it will stick and sink in. Now, for some people, it does. For some people, it does. There are people who are just naturally more able to kind of rapidly internalize and learn. Maybe they kind of on their own are doing intuitively some of the things I've talked about. Maybe incidentally in that particular monastery or workshop or psychotherapy practice, there's some focus on things that would tend to increase lasting neuroplastic change. But on the whole, it's stunning the degree to which the broad field of mental health, psychospiritual growth, has ignored in any system systematic or comprehensive way, ignored the second necessary stage of learning and has not fostered a kind of agency in the minds of the people going through these various processes in any kind of systematic or comprehensive way. And that's where the opportunity is. I don't think there's much opportunity, really, in helping people have cooler experiences. We're already great at it, you know? We're great at it where the opportunity is, is helping them learn from their experiences in lasting, durable ways. So that whatever's beneficial and useful uh, in what, what they're experiencing um, actually sticks to their ribs, <laughs> as it were. And they can take it home with them, and it's still there a week later or a year later, and it hasn't faded.